Hi everyone, I'm doing a little unofficial tea time with Chloe today. This is not September's official tea time with Chloe. Um, Winnie is coughing in the background. Why do my videos always start in the same way? Um, basically, I just wanted to film a little updates, life updates video and chat to you about um, things that have changed around here and exciting things that have happened, exciting things that are coming and um, just update you basically. Um, so I didn't actually want to upload this video until my next weekly vlog went up but the way my editorial calendar has worked out this month I just needed to upload it now. So I am going to be giving some spoilers but I'm, I'm sure most of you have already seen on social media um, but the biggest thing that has happened is that Will and I actually got engaged. Um, oh, it's just so exciting, but it was so romantic and so perfect and I could not have done it my, like better myself. I couldn't have picked a better ring, um, although we did have a bit of a palaver with the ring, so that is in the weekly vlog as well. Um, but it, I was just on cloud nine. It happened on my birthday. Um, it, yeah, it just couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, so yeah, I'm just in this little like engagement bubble at the moment. Um, I'm finding it really hard to get back into dissertation work, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and I went back to my day job yesterday as well. School started up again yesterday and I just keep looking at my hand like, oh my God, I'm actually engaged. Um, and I just find it so hard to focus on anything else. So I'm like waiting for the novelty to wear off, but I also don't want the novelty to wear off. I'm just so excited. And we've been so like showered with love from our family and friends, especially my friends. They're so excited. I'm the first out of my group of friends to get engaged. I'm the first of my mum's children to get engaged. And my older sisters got married 10 years ago and 11 years ago. So it's been a long time since we had like a really big family wedding that's not a cousin or something. Um, so my family is so excited and Will's family are really excited and yeah, it just, it could not, it could not be better at the moment. You know, there was a time at the beginning of our relationship when I wasn't sure if we would get married because it wasn't necessarily what Will wanted, but the time and energy and effort and money, I'm getting a bit emotional that he's put in to the proposal um oh this is really silly I don't think I even cried in the video on Saturday but um I just feel so special and so loved and it's made me feel like it's what he wants and he's already so involved. He's sending me venues all the time. Like anytime I check my phone at break time at work, he's sent me another venue to look at. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, I think we will definitely just be looking at venues. We want to get something secured quite quickly. Um, we think we will probably get married in 2021 rather than next year because we've got Florida next year and uh, Will also wants to go to South America next year with a friend of his. So. 2020 is probably not when the wedding's going to happen. Um, it'll probably be 2021, but we want to get a venue secured quite quickly. Um, and we're quite particular about our budget and what we want. So we've already started wedding planning and I can't wait to share that process with you. So that's like the first update that we got engaged and that there is going to be some sort of wedding content on this channel. Um, I think a lot of it will fall into the weekly vlogs rather than... Um, separate videos although there definitely will be some separate videos i actually want to film the process of us choosing the venue and i also want to film the process of me choosing my wedding dress um because i just think what special videos to look back on and i didn't get the actual proposal on camera unfortunately so i would love to get as much of the wedding as possible and the wedding planning on camera um so yeah, there will be wedding content. Um, if I do film the process of choosing my wedding dress, that video will probably go up on the day that we get married because I don't want anyone to see the dress before the day, obviously, other than like my mum and my bridesmaids who come shopping with me to pick it. So um, yeah, there's gonna be wedding content. Um, next week I'm going to film a flip through of my like Kiki, 
Kiki K wedding planner that I've got before I've like touched any of it. I thought you guys might want to see that. So yeah, we got engaged. We're already planning the wedding and I can't wait to share that with you. Um, as part of the proposal, Will actually booked us a trip to New York as well. So that's another reason why we won't be getting married next year, most likely, because we're going to New York in October. So we'll have New York, Florida, Will's trip to Peru. Um, so that's just a lot of big trips to try and also budget for a wedding, you know? So it's just a lot. <laughs> um, but we are going to New York in October half term, which I still can't get my head around and I don't think it will actually feel real until I'm there. And that is another thing that makes me quite emotional, the fact that he booked that trip to New York because I know I go on about it a lot, but my mum had breast cancer last year and we were meant to go to New York in October and um, it was cancelled because of her treatment and then my mum decided that New York was too far away and she didn't want to go there anymore so we did Disneyland Paris instead. Um, so Will's never been to New York either and he felt bad for me that I had had to cancel that trip and he knew how upset I was about the whole situation and cancelling the trip and everything. And so that's why he chose New York. And um, again, it just makes me feel quite emotional because it's a lot of, there's so much thought gone into this whole thing, you know? But anyway, so my point was, I'm going to New York in October and um, there'll be New York content as well. So there'll be vlogs from New York, travel vlogs. And um, I might do like a pack with me or something as well. Um, I don't know what effect this is going to have on the solo trip that I was meant to be taking at the beginning of October to Disneyland Paris because I don't really have much money now. Um, I've got to pay for, I've got to take some money with me to New York obviously, I've got to pay for Florida in December. Um, and yesterday I had to put all new tyres on my car which cost me a lot of money so I don't know whether I'm going to be able to go on that Disneyland Paris solo trip anymore. I really hope I can find some way to make it work. I might have to change hotels and stay in like a hotel that's cheaper and further away perhaps, um, but I don't know yet. Uh, but we're going to New York, so there's gonna be vlogs for that and I'm so excited and I already know a lot of the places that I wanna go and see because um, I obviously planned like a whole itinerary when I was meant to be going with my mum. So I can't wait to like share more of that. And we're going for five days, so that's a really good amount of time to try and see a lot of things. Obviously, another big update is that I'm coming to the end of my degree. So I've got exactly, tomorrow, it will be exactly three weeks until the day that I want to hand my dissertation in. I've still got a lot of work to do, which is why I'm kind of whizzing through this video, because I'm going to crack on with more work when I finish filming this. Um, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm coming to the end of my degree now, so I want to film a, my proper tea time with Chloe video will be um, my experience doing this master's degree and that will go up at the end of the month. So I need questions from you guys and stuff that you want me to talk about. It can be as specific or as general as you want about um, a master's degree or higher education in general. Please just leave them in a comment below. I've also put up a post in my community tab on YouTube so that you guys can leave me questions or discussion points there. Um, if not, if people don't really have that many questions, I'll just chat generally about my whole experience. Um, but so many people have asked me questions throughout this whole two year journey of undertaking this master's degree. So I'm, I'm sure that people do have things they want to ask. Um, and if not, you can always leave a comment on that actual video when it goes up and I'll get back to you. But yeah, so I'm coming to the end, which means I'm going to have a lot more free time. Now, obviously, I am going to be planning a wedding, um, but that won't necessarily take up lots of time day to day, um, especially once the big things are booked. So I want to reopen my Patreon. And so my plan is that from the 1st of October, I will relaunch my Patreon. It's been on pause now for, by the time I relaunch it, it will have been on pause for about four months um, because I just didn't have time in the run up to this dissertation deadline. And I felt like I wasn't delivering what I promised you guys. Um, and I do still have, I think nine or 10 patrons over there. So I just wanna thank you guys for 
staying on as patrons. They haven't been charged during this whole time, obviously, that it's been paused. But um, I just wanna thank you guys for staying on over there. And again, please let me know what you want to see. Um, now that I'll have more time, I'll actually be able to have the time to put into these videos and make videos that I'm actually proud of. Um, and I'll be able to do a lot more crafting as well, which I'm so excited about because I have so many unfinished projects or things that I want to start that I haven't been able to do because of the dissertation, but now I'll actually be able to do them. So um, my Patreon is hopefully restarting again um, and that will give me a little bit of extra money for the wedding as well. So hopefully it's a win-win situation. Um, you guys get more content if you decide to become a patron and I can get a little bit of pocket money to put away for the wedding. Um, my initial plan for this year was actually to change jobs or to see if I could increase my hours at work because I need more money basically. Sorry, I just had to go and check on Winnie because she's making like a snorting noise and she's done it a couple of times um, over the last week or so and I'm a bit worried so I was trying to get it on camera so that I could show the vet, um, but she stopped before I could film her, obviously. But she seems fine now, but it's just another thing to worry about, eh? But yeah, so my original plan was to change jobs or try and extend my hours because I need to earn more money. And now that I am planning a wedding, I really need some more money. So I know people think it's tacky to talk about money, and I'm sorry if you are one of those people, but at the end of the day, I have a house and I have bills and I have a car and I have pets and I now have a wedding and Patreon is a really good way to provide you guys with content but also make a little bit extra money because YouTube is not really a reliable source of income for me. Um, I don't have a, a large enough audience or anything to, to make any sort of living from this. So awkward money conversations aside I am hoping to relaunch my Patreon and I would really appreciate it if you went over and had a look at my page um, either beforehand or um, when I relaunch it at the beginning of October it's always linked in the description below um, you can follow somebody for free so you could follow my profile and see what sort of videos I post and see if you might be interested in watching those kind of videos that would be really nice um, and occasionally I do post things over there that everyone can see so yeah just wanted to share that as well so I think that's everything um, just a recap I'm engaged I'm planning my wedding I can't wait there's going to be wedding content as part of the proposal will bought us a trip to New York which I can't get over so there's going to be New York vlogs at the end of October. Well, the vlogs will come in November, most likely. Um, my degree is coming to an end, so I'm going to relaunch my Patreon. And I'm not sure what's going to happen about my Disneyland Paris trip, because like I just said, I don't really have any money. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that now. But if I cancel it, I lose the money that I've spent on the Eurostar tickets because they are non-refundable. Um, yeah, I don't know but I'm getting married. <laughs> yes, I'm absolutely filled with positivity at the moment. This is what my mum got me for my birthday. Um, and I just wanted to chat to you guys because like I said, I didn't really wanna like give it all away on YouTube until my weekly vlog went up with the news of the engagement, but it's just how things worked out. Um, so I really hope you guys are happy for me and for us. I am so happy, the happiest. Um, and I just can't wait to share this journey with you and with my family who are all so excited and I'm getting emotional again so I'm gonna go. Okay, <laughs> bye guys.